Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my new tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to do this wave or ripple effect in Sony Vegas that you see in Frag movies. And I uploaded a video that I didn't make, a Counter Strike one, a few weeks ago. And um, a lot of people were saying, How do you do this effect? Now, I did make a tutorial about a year and a bit ago. And, you know, I sounded like a bit of a downer there. And it wasn't a very good tutorial. So. I'm going to remake it now, hopefully it's better, clearer, and yeah. Also, sorry if I sound a bit weird in this one, I'm a bit sick and I just woke up and it's freezing cold, and yeah. Um, so, if you don't know what the ripple or wave effect is, here's a quick example. Alright, so, as you can see, it's just pretty much a ripple that goes from the enemy out to the screen. Now this works in any movie, it doesn't just work for Counter-Strike editing. Some people have been leaving comments saying will this effect work in a Call of Duty edit? And it's kind of a stupid question since these tutorials are just me editing and it has nothing to do with the clip whatsoever. So all these tutorials can be used in other games or anything like that. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Also I said I'd say the word taco, so there it is. Okay, now... Um, what I'll do now is just remove the audio, if you don't know how to split it from the video, you press U. And I'll quickly apply some velocity to this. Now if you don't know what velocity is, um, it's pretty much so I can make it, uh, when he shoots, the video slows down a lot, like that. So, I'll just quickly do this, this is just so we can see the effect a lot better. And if you don't know what I just did, or how to do it, and you want to know, I'll put a link to my tutorial in the description. Alright, so now that we've got that slowed down, we'll right click, go insert video track, then go to media generators, color gradient, and there's this one called elliptical ring, and we'll just drag that in as soon as he gets shot. So, he gets shot right there. And, yep. Alright, what we need to do now is um, go to our event pen and crop, go to the very start, and you want to drag these out as far as it can go. Now, that's so it starts at the enemy and then you want to go forward say uh, three quarters of a second or so you know uh, just to there and we'll go restore and then drag it in so there's nothing showing around the border so you can't see the ring at all and so what we just did is made it so the ring starts and it goes towards the outside now if that animation is too slow for you um, shorten the distance between these two keyframes if it's too fast drag one keyframe out but I'll just leave mine at that because I don't really mind for this tutorial so now the next thing to do is make it um, that bubbly looking effect so this is pretty easy to do all you need to do is click on your compositing mode here go to custom then apply the Sony height map click OK and you can see it's already there now there's no right or wrong settings for this, so I'm not going to tell you um, set amplitude to this, elevation to this, because it's really up to you. I haven't done this effect in a long, long time, so I don't even know what, if there are any best settings or whatever. But pretty much play around the smoothness, um, the elevation, everything like that, and you'll eventually get the effect you're looking for. Now the last thing I'll show you is when it gets close to the edge here, you can see it kind of uh, shows the background. It's all black. Now to fix this, go to Edge Pixel Handling and go Wrap Pixels Around. Now it does bring the bottom of the footage to the top and it does look a bit weird in the still frame. But when um, you're watching this, you'll notice that a whole lot less than if it just goes black. So it does actually end up looking better in my opinion. So there we go. Now if we watch that, goes, shoots him, and it's done. So that's pretty much it. Play out the settings. Hope it helped. Um, Remember to hit that like button if it helped you, leave any future video suggestions in the comments below or any advice or feedback or any questions and I'll answer them. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, remember to subscribe and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.